Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Hard Truck 2. Uh, last time we were contemplating switching over to the Mac, save us some money, and it's about the same as far as power and speed. I mean, this might be a little better, but not much. But, um, you know, save us some money and keep our driver and everything in town. Let's go get it. Come on. And, of course, upgrades are not there. What else is there? There he is in the background, the white Mac back there. I like the white one but a little better personally just because it matches the trailers. And look at that. This is the third time I tried to. For some reason, if you're load up there, I guess he was ready to leave anyway. He just left. We missed him. So, uh, next time, gadget. Anyway, let's go get a trailer. But, uh, I did a little bit of testing, and, uh, I kept this truck, and I still kept the higher driver, amazingly enough, even though we have $963. But I guess, you know, they're doing their job somewhat competently, I guess. Hopefully. Maybe cheat's still working, I guess. So, so I have a plan this time. That is that trailer up there, up near Sandy Ranch. And all that, wherever that's going, I think. Foothill? I think it's Foothill. So, uh, But, I want to... Well, I can't. I really don't have the money. I really want to get the off-road tires. But, I can't really afford it until some of my trucks come in. I guess I gotta just keep on spamming that F4 see when some money comes in. Because we're really, really thin right now. I mean, I've got some of the upgrades on the Stracovo Lambrance, but I don't have the off-road tires, and that hurts a lot. Because that trailer, I know where it is, too. It's, it's down in that little gully off the side of the road in the grass. And this truck is not going to do too good without the tires. I do have a forced engine, though, right? Yeah, FE forced engine. This truck, though, it's, I mean, it looks really good. Look at it a little bit. It looks really nice. It's really pretty. But as far as speed and power, it's comparable to the Mac, really. In my opinion, anyway. Just like the, uh, the Kenworth, too. I mean, well, the Kenworths that you can buy in this game really don't look too good. To them. Where am I going? The trailer's down here. Oh, I want to go up and get the repairs first, right? The upgrades. Forgot. But, um... Yeah, there's the trailer. We'll get a better run start coming at it from that direction anyway. But, um... You know, the the, the Kenworth is kind of the same. It, it's cool because it's a different truck, but it, it's it's very comparable to the, uh, the Mac. And, I, and it's not a bad thing. They're good trucks. It's just I thought they would be, you know, a little closer to the Peterbilt as far as power and speed. Okay, just gotta take something off and put it back on. There we go. Yeah, that's right, I didn't put the horn on this. Minimal upgrades until we get the money. Darn. I didn't have the wheel turn over. That was my fault. Yeah, see how we just come to a dead stop as soon as we hit the grass? It's because I don't have the off road tires yet. But really. Now I guess a little bit of money came in, but it's still very thin. <laughs> Come on, we go. Sometimes my gas pedal doesn't work. Sometimes, maybe. I don't know. It's weird. Now let's see how fast we can hit this trailer. Because it's there. We go. I know it seems pretty crazy to do that, but it's it's the only way to get it because the the hook of the trailer is just facing the side of the cliff there, so it just doesn't work. Okay. Yep, and the cops don't like it when you do that. Now let's see, where's my trailer going? There it is. That would be T on the keyboard. But I, I mapped it to my uh, steering wheel. And uh, I could drive like this for a little while, I guess, but 
It's it's easier to drive from in the cab. Yeah, there's no other view options either. There's just outside or in the cab, and the outside view is you know, like this. And, uh, you can pan around and zoom in and out, which is useless zooming, but the panning helps. I used to have the, the panning option, and uh, it got around the other way. And it was reverse sight. I used to have the panning option mapped to the steering wheel, but I can't do that. Come on. I can't do that because uh, without the patch, the game does not recognize the pedals on the steering wheel for some reason. With the patch, it does. Without it, doesn't. So I had. Thankfully, everything's mappable on the steering wheel, so I just mapped the pedals with the paddles. So. I mean, it works, but I missed, lost two buttons. Alright. Well, that's probably a good enough outside view. When we start getting into the bends, I really... I don't like having to keep on moving the camera around to see around the trailer. It gets annoying. But, um, as you can see, it's very, very easy to lose the trailer when you're hauling a trailer in the semi in this game. It's just... It, it's like there's just a magnet holding the trailer onto your truck, and it's not very strong. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it. And it you, you never want to get into a competition with other trucks when you're hauling a trailer. You, know, you don't want them. You don't want other trucks behind you at all, really. Even if you're not in a competition, because they don't care about knocking off your trailer. They don't at all. And if and for some reason in this game, you, the driver, is, are the only person that ever has a trailer, which sucks. That is the big disadvantage. Because all the other semi-trucks that you can hire, that they're driving around all over the place, they're hauling their cargo and everything, but there's no trailer. <laughs> I know they just didn't want to uh, map that out for some reason or what, but it's just the way it is. So, uh, you're pretty much screwed when you're the only one hauling the trailer. Everybody else just knocks it right off. Lucky that cop did not go out, actually. So yes, we are going to foot Foothill, and we are going to take this little road here. We're going to take a little shortcut. Actually, we're not taking a shortcut too much. We're just taking the road from... Uh, Taking the road from St. Helena to Mercury, this little skinny road, which is challenging. This, this road is pretty challenging. It's very tight, as you can see, one lane in either direction, and it's a narrow lane in either direction. And I think we're going to pull over for this cop because he's not going to stop buzzing. He'll knock my trailer off, even that little cop. Okay. But uh, it's a narrow little road with, with one narrow lane in each direction, which is one yellow line. And you're screwed when it's just one line like that. And, um, and the bends are pretty tight. And there's three lakes on this road. Remember if I explain this or not. It's been a few days since I recorded last. It's been about a week, actually. But, uh, there's three lakes, uh, north, center, and south. And I'm pretty sure that the first one we're going to run into is the north. And, if it's flooded out, you're screwed. There's no way around it. Oh, come on, cop. You're running into me. The good news about this cop harassment is that the road is open. I know the road is open because the AI knows a lot better than me whether or not the road's open. Oh, he just knocked the trailer off. So. Let's see. Did he actually knock it off? Yeah. He just didn't register yet. Oh, there it goes. Trailer. Thankfully, it's pretty easy to re the trailer, usually. I did not mean to do that. Shut up. You started this mess. Oh, there's another there's two of them. Yeah, just keep driving underneath the trailer. That will get you really freaking far. Sometimes these cops are such a thing. Hook the trailer. Yes, I'll hook the trailer. 
trailer. We hook it. So don't do something crazy like make the trailer disappear. I got a little scared there for a second. <laughs> I've had glitches happen before. Oh, I am. The other cop is underneath the wheels of the trailer. So let's try reverse. There we go. I don't care. Did I get bulletproof glass last time? Because if I did, I'm not stopping for this time, Tom. Because this is what happens. This is just what happens. Okay. Okay. This is, uh, annoying. If it doesn't work this time, I am just going to go around there and ram that top car until he's out of the way. I think that SUV will dislodge him. Yes. Definitely do not try to. <laughs> oh. Do not try to drive in the outside view on this road. You need to see the road in front of you at all times. Because look, there, there's there's a lake right there. So there's a lake. Yeah. So that's the first. That's the North Lake first. In this run. And there's no way around it. It's a sheer cliff edge on, on the other side. So if that one's flooded, you're screwed. You have to either turn around and go back, or most likely you're going to hit pause and, and hit the open all roads cheat. It's all one word, open, open all roads. And that'll clear it out. And, uh, but the other two lakes are um, bypassable. This, for, this next one coming up, the middle lake, there's actually two different ways around it. You can go, coming from this direction, it'll be on the left, in the grass around it, or you can go on the right, which we're going to do, on this dirt road that goes around it, where all the where they like to pile up the trailers, where we found three storm trailers last time. Well, I'm going to go this way, because there is a hidden cargo here. And this is going to be pretty tight to try to pull off. But I think I can do it somehow. Oh, we're not there yet. I just really don't want to end up in a lake. You can see that lake comes up right there. And we're going to stay on the left here on the shore of the lake. How's our trailer doing? Because it's okay. And, uh, here's a container. This container is going to <laughs> Eastwood. That's really probably not a good idea that I just picked that up, because we have to go to Foothill first, that's where the trailer is going. Actually, we could do it in any order, probably, but we're already heading towards Foothill, so we got to go to Foothill first, and then after we drop off the Foothill, we have to hightail it up that road from Foothill up to Eastwood. And I don't know if you're noticing or not, but this truck isn't really hightailing all that. Right? Of course, I'm on the dirt right now, but... Uh, this is why I wanted to get the off-road tires, but we'll, we'll get through it pretty quick. Anyway, this is a pretty short dirt road. Come on. Yeah. This is the only section of dirt that we're going to have to go through, really. So we're going to... We're really on the clock now to try to... try to get this. It's going to be tight. There is also a nasty set of landmines. I never really recognize them until it's too late, too. It's right in the middle of a bend, and it's two sets of landmines, like right there, right across the road. The whole road, of course, it's a narrow road. I mean, you can get around it, but you got to notice it. you got to realize they're there. I'm probably not going to. I'll try. Anyway, um, there's a bridge that river system will lead you to the Mercury to North Harbor Road. I guess I could have done that, but I'm just going to go straight down the little road here. So off the whole road, why not? From one end to the other. We'll use that shortcut eventually. But that shortcut, since I have to run up to Eastwood afterwards, after Foothill, that shortcut might eat up a little bit too much time sometimes. Especially, oh yeah, I don't have the I don't have the uh, off-road tires, so 
I wouldn't even get up the hill out of the out of the river without the off-road tires. I bet. I remember I couldn't do it manual one time. I think that was. I think I made a video of that. I tried it in, man in uh, driving with the manual gears, and I was doing really good with the manual gears too because I was using the paddles, and I could not get up the hill because you need to hold hold control to give you more power. But I don't think that works in manual, or maybe it doesn't work with the pedal when you got the patch installed, something weird like that. It's a lot of weird little nuances with this game, little, little weird things like sometimes some things work and then you gotta realize what works with the patch and what works without the patch, remember if you have the patch going or not. Makes a big difference. Parking area here. And there's nothing there. I always end up, yeah, I'm so worried about falling in that river on the right. I always end up driving through the parking area. I managed to miss that little shack somewhere. Eventually I'll just run into it enough and shove it off into the river. I'll try to be nice for now. gonna be tight. <laughs> trying to get up Eastwood. Oh, I'm trying to do that. Okay, I think we're coming up on the South Lake. Yes, right here. And this lake, I know, you can't really tell. But there's a lot of land on the other side of the lake, and there's a path just like the one where we picked up that container that goes around the lake. So if this one floods, there's a way around it. Of course, by the time you realize it's flooded, you're headed down that steep hill into the lake, pretty much, so you're going to end up hitting pause, pause putting the cheat code in to get through it, because you're, especially if you're hauling a trailer, there's no way you're going to turn around and go around. There's just no way. Of course, there is a way. I should have gone to that road. I just thought of it. But anyway, there is a way to know if the lakes are uh, flooded or not. Besides, it'll say on the pager, the road to Mercury, from Mercury to St. Helena is flooded, but that doesn't tell you much, because three different places it can flood. But, there's a navigator that you can buy from the repair station, that puts a little arrow up in the right part of the screen, to the right of your truck gauge there. And it'll, it'll try to give you directions, but I use the shortcut so often, that... I, I don't use the navigator because it's going to be constantly telling you to go around or go a different way and you're going the wrong way. Look at that, I just slid off the road. Oh look, it's good timing though because, oh there's the mines up there. That Hey Buddy guy just showed up. Rob me, please rob me right now while my, while my trailer is unhooked. Thank you. I guess it's got robbed without the trailer hook. So the trailer is still right there. Still got it. And, well, this is probably going to keep me from getting that second load. Oh, well, that sucks. Yeah. That damn trailer just spun around to him. Not, not the parking brake. Still getting used to these buttons. Really? Control 5. Okay. I would not cheat as much, but I'm really trying to be in a rush here, so. I usually make sure not to fly off that, but I forgot that. Control 5. That should put us on the road. Barely. Okay. Cheating we are. Now we gotta turn around. I know, it's grass. I know, the one weakness. Take two, take two. There we go. Yeah, we're probably not going to make that now. Not unless I'm like flawless up and down the rest of the roads. Okay, there's the landmines. Oh, thank you, Mr. SUV. 
Even though I saw that other guy hit the landmines, I probably would have been stupid and hit it if he didn't do that. Okay. We're okay, we're back on the road. Slow down. This is a bad curve. Yeah, the, the bad thing about this road is you're usually driving so slow for the curves, and then you see a stretch where you think you can speed up and make up time, and you really can't on this road. There's not really one part of this road where you can speed up much at all. I'm running out of fuel. Oh, I didn't get the extra fuel tank. That's annoying. Oh, storm. Eventually I'll buy that storm truck, at least for a little while, a semi version, just to move the trailers around and show it off, but I don't like it too much. Some people do. It's nice. Again, it's kind of comparable to this truck. It's not a whole lot faster, I think, but it can haul a lot more. You know, you can make a lot more money with it. I think that's one of the trucks where you can you can triple load that trailer. So that's that's the plus to that. But the view from it, you're driving inside the truck, and the view is just like a small square. I don't, I don't like it too much. I mean, I'll drive it for a while just to drive it, but uh, it's not that good. Okay, unfortunately, I really need fuel, and uh, I'm trying to remember if I can get it without going through the town here. I don't think I really can, so I will make it fast. I should have tried to stop on that repair station and, uh, on this windy road and looked for the off-road tires. I forgot. Didn't think of it in time, anyway. Okay. Come on. Yep, good. You won't behind me be behind me if you're going now. Okay. Oh, that's that trailer that's got the that had the hot cargo in it. Oh, that's an empty one now. That's right. Yeah, that kind of frustrated me because I finally found a trailer. I was like, okay, let's pick up this load and it was, it was hot. <laughs> Didn't have the scanner yet. I think I still don't have a scanner. The ones you pick up on the side of the road are never hot cargoes, illicit. You only get those from the depots. Okay. Now we're on a little bit better of a road here. It's still a little windy, but it's it's better. It's not, you know... The, the last road we were on was the side of, the size of half of this road. So that's that's progress. Yeah, screw that curve. <laughs> I guess I've been driving this game so long, I just drive a certain way. Of course, you can't really screw this curve quite as well because there's a bridge right after it. Yeah. <laughs> Grass is up down line. Gotta remember I don't have those tires, so. You can't just drive through the grass a lot to try to go faster because you're going to go through the grass with this truck right now. Oh, look at that. Six minutes left. Yeah, there's no way. And I don't know what the timer is on the Eastwood cargo because that's the timer for the first one I picked up. But oh, there's no way we're making it up to Eastwood this time. Not with that crash off the side of the road. I think I can make that stretch from Foothill up to Eastwood with the trailer. I think I can make it in 10 minutes, maybe 8. Not any shorter than that. So if it's shorter than that when we get there, I'll just I'll just dump the trailer and pick up something else. Oh, by the way, if, if, if you're noticing different music, I probably shouldn't be talking. I am, I got some music from uh, Sonic 3D. You know, it's not the same kind of music at all, but I just wanted something else to add to the library of music. I think it's playing a little too quietly though for me to really do that. Kind of a 
constant battle trying to get the sound set up right. If you're wondering why my right hand is on the keyboard a lot, it's because I'm really trying to push it with the control boost for power and speed. <laughs> At least in my mind it's making me faster. I don't think it's really helping that much. There's going to be landmines around this bend, I do believe. Yep. There we go. Now, of course, the trailer wheels hitting the landmines doesn't matter. The trailer does not. It's kind of like in this game, the trailer doesn't exist, <laughs> for the most part. You know, it doesn't hit landmines. The opposing players, the AI doesn't care about the trailer being there just keeps running into it. So, that's just the way it is, I guess. Alright, through this, this is a nice little fast section. Is that music from? I know it's Sonic 3D. I think it's Panic Puppet. Not sure. And of course the bad part about that stretch is you're always coming downhill for the big bend at the end, but I knew it was coming. Mercedes? Yeah, that's for hire. Ooh, that was a little drifty. Trailer's still there. By the time I looked for the trailer, if it was going to flip, it would have already flipped. So that was silly. Uh, come on. Boy, this, this must be pretty heavy. Yeah, it's a double load. Well, it's not it's not up past the charts or anything. Come on. Wow. I think my pedals are starting to go. It's almost like I'm losing power and I shouldn't be. Not sure. Oh, come on, Storm. Get on your side of the road. I know I'm not on my side of the road, but it doesn't matter. I'm the player. I don't need to drive on the right side of the road. Two minutes. Oh, man. Well, I know from this turn, this is the turn into Foothill. I can make it there in about two minutes, so we're kind of pretty close. Yeah, get out of the way. We're getting it really close, actually, because we still got to get through that other intersection, so, yeah. I might have to drop off this trailer before I even get to Foothill and not make anything. And at 30, there's Peter built for hire. It's pretty cool. And it's still playing the same song over again. And it's pretty good, but... Oh, those are the mines that go all the way across the road. One minute. Come on. Power. Giving it all she's got. It's not that much. Yeah, I wish I could have grabbed that Mac so worried about money and I think it's at least as good as this. It might even be a little better. I know I really like that. I used it before. 30 seconds. Come on, up the hill. It's right up there. I see the turn off. Oh, come on. Okay, good. You got out of the way. seconds. If I don't lose the trailer. Ten, nine, eight. There we go. Eight seconds left. Oh, and we still got thirteen for Eastwood. Okay. Oh, can I? Uh, oh, hey, buddy, pull over. I'll pull over. I'll show you pull over. Uh, time for this crap. Where is he? Where is he? Yeah, I 
pulled out. Alright, let's get that trailer and get the hell out of here. I get up to Eastwood. There we go. Yeah, you can pick up a trailer on the fly like that. I mean, I slammed on the brake at the same time I hit the trailer, but, but still. Let's go. Ah, uh, now I gotta drive up this road. I hate this road. For some reason, I just... I never usually drive it between Foothill and up through River Valley section. So when I do have to drive it, I don't know it as well, because I usually don't. That made any sense. I usually take the shortcuts around. But now, from here to Eastwood, there's really no other way. Oh, god damn. I didn't get away far enough, I guess. And there's that helicopter. So I'm really screwed. And this, I saw that Peter build up there. But anyway, um, this really sucks right now because there's a helicopter that's an instant kill if you start shooting, right? And then you've got, oh god damn it. Then you've got the Peterville too. Everybody wants a piece of me coming up this mountain. But anyway, you got the mobster guy right, shooting at you. So if you try to knock the mobster guy off the road and knock him out so he stops shooting at you, what's going to happen? The helicopter is after you. And so if you hit that mobster guy and you don't knock him out and you stop for the helicopter, the mobster's gonna rob you. Or if there's more than one mobster. Oh, great, stop the truck once. Okay, I'll stop the truck after I drop the trailer. So that's what I did. Okay, fine. Where's my trailer? trailer before that storm knocks it off the road. Yeah. yeah. That's about what I figured was going to happen there. It's okay. I got ten minutes. I think I can make it. Come on. Oh, truck. Oh, the fuel halfway already. I realize the extra tank made that big of a difference. I'm also leaning on that boost button pretty hard. Oh, there's the mines. I forgot about those. But I saw them in the last second. Tree! Yep. Okay. Yeah, I got the trailer wrapped around the tree. That's fuel, but I hate the fuel stations on this road because they're a dead end with a little spur road. I think I can make it. <laughs> it's gonna be really tight though. I'm gonna feel really stupid though if I have to call my for that. Is there a fuel up where this road turns into a highway? I think there is. Gotta get that one. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I, I'll make it there. I'll make it that far. I found out that uh, for the music in this game, you can put MP3s in the music file, or it'll take uh, .wav files, W-A-V. That's what the Sonic 3D ones are. Actually, there were something else, and I converted them to waves, because I couldn't do MP3s. Okay, good. That's clear. That's a spot where that can collapse and block the road, and you can just hit open all roads real quick and clear it out. Of course, the dirt road that goes around here, that's what leads into the tunnels. We'll take them from this end eventually. Yeah, it's a really tight turn. This road is tough. Just honk my horn for no reason. Yeah, honking your horn does not solve anything itself at all. 
Does that make noise? That's all it does. It's gonna be a long video. <laughs> started going up and getting the trailer and it took me all of that 15 minutes to get to foothill so yeah. but I want to get to this one. Aha! I forgot about that one. Oh, 1%. Okay, that's not bad. How did I keep my trailer? I don't know. <laughs> Everybody wants to piece me again. These curves on hills are, are really bad with everybody going up the middle of the road. There was River Valley. Still got six minutes, that's pretty good. No, Eastwood is just up to the end of this road, so I'll make it. I did a little test video um, when I couldn't get the Mac at the beginning of this video, and uh, so I drove this. I did the same route thing. I wanted to see if I'd lose a driver, and uh, I only had eight minutes from Foothill to get up to Eastwood, and I made it with like seconds to spare. But this time, we made it to Foothill with seconds to spare. Okay, you want to do... It's not my fault you thought you were all badass and passed me and then spun out. Jeez. You guys saw that. I'm not going to stop here because of, this is a good, nice, fast stretch. You don't even have to slow down for this curve. It's gentle. Unless you're an idiot, I can't even run into the walls. This... this... Curve. It looks like you need to really slow down, but you don't. I've gone down it at like a hundred before and made it around. Uh, yeah, sure. okay. you know what? I'll stop in the fuel and then you're supposed to stop. Give me the ticket. Let me count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's close enough. You're not gonna take it. Yeah. Okay. I have I have both of the last for this. There's no help. You are you aren't gonna get me to take this on screw. I'm going. I have four minutes now. Yeah, I think you can. This little bridge here, this used to confuse me when I first started playing. It's just a loopy loop thing. That's all it is. I used to go up there all the time trying to find a secret passage or whatever. Yeah, it's just a loop. Go away. Just go away. Admit that you don't know how to drive and you spun out in front of me. Go away. I don't know why there's a music box playing. <laughs> Must be one of the Terminator tracks. I hope you guys heard that or else you're gonna think I'm crazy. It seems that there's a load. Yeah, it's, it's pretty full, but still, it, it seems that like 50, 55 is the max for this truck, which is a little, a little on the slow end. Considering how cool it looks and how, how closely it looks like the Peterbilt, too. Uh, that was Mary in the Gazelle there. It's sad that I have computer players, AI names, matched up with their trucks in my head. That's sad. 
Does that page say River Valley? Road to River Valley is closed by the tunnel. Um, I was hitting the P button to see, read up the old pages, but it's just complaining about the con, whatever. Okay, here's our exit. Two and a half minutes. East what's right here, so that's good. Alright. Gotta just go in the wrong way because that's what I do here. Why loop around when you can just drive the wrong way? There we go. Now we got some money. Now we got some money. That's what we needed. We didn't lose any drivers either, even though in the beginning of the video we had like $900 to our name. It was okay, because they uh, they did their job and they, they brought in a couple of nice little quick loads, probably because one of, them's, one of them's still a gazelle. But one of them was started out as a gazelle driver, so he probably still does little short routes. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, now we're now we have forty-one thousand idle cash. That's that's really nice. And uh, let me just check the map real quick. Uh, there's no trailers here, so we'll be hauling some something somewhere from the depot here. But that's gonna have to wait till next time because I know I am out of time. And I'll see you guys then. Later.